Hello everybody and welcome back to more Isaac. We are jumping in again and checking out the chocolate mod today and I thought we'd go with the craziest of chocolates. This is a pretty interesting mod. It just adds, I, I think it's like 10 or so different chocolate bars that all have different effects. This one is the craziest one, so I thought, why not check it out? Uh, as you can see, golden chocolate gives you a quality 4 item and a speed down on use. But if used twice, the item will be removed at the end of the floor. So basically, we can gain either a guaranteed quality 4 item per floor that we keep, or we can get multiple quality 4 items, but the extra ones will be removed. It's kind of an interesting idea. Uh, we'll use it once here, and we got uh, Do Not Press, which is a half-decent one. And honestly, X-Ray Vision. A really, really good item to get off the bat. Now, I will say, I am very, very, very rusty. I haven't played, um, I haven't played Isaac in, like, over two weeks. Um, I got the new Call of Duty, and I grinded the hell out of it. I got the Mastery Camo and all that jazz, um, in about two weeks. Played the, the hell out of the game, like, booked a week off work and stuff. Um, and I just backlogged a ton of Isaac before doing that. So I just didn't have to record anything for a couple of weeks, which was nice to have a little bit of a break, but it means that I'm probably severely out of practice, but hopefully the, the natural skill doesn't completely fade. So hopefully there is some there is some natural skill still left, um, <laughs> and we can have a half-decent run. And I, I'm one of the reasons I picked this, um, this item as our showcase today is I just wanted a bit of an easier run, and... I'm, I'm just curious how this is going to all work out. I mean, we could get some really cool items here. I'm honestly not super, super enthused by Do Not Press. I'm, I am going to use my chocolate again and just see what happens. Uh, now, the one thing I'm curious about is, do we, like, can we get the same item more than once or once we've got it once is it out of the pool? So if we use that again, we get Johnny's knives here. So we'll, we'll only use it two times. And that minus speed is obviously going to be problematic. But I think, I think when we go to the next floor, the speed down gets removed. I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, why are we getting a fire rate increase for holding, for killing things? Is, does, is that something Johnny's Knife does that I never knew about? Maybe? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's pretty interesting. I literally never knew that was a thing that could happen with us before. Let's go to our shop and see what we can get. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably going to do the same again, actually. I'm I'm actually quite liking the idea, because I did it when I went on holiday, and I did it for this uh, for the re release of the Call of Duty game, of just, ooh, very nice, um, of just recording, like, a ton of videos over the course of, like, a week or two weeks, and then uh, having a few weeks off. And I think that's actually going to be a much, much better balance for me. The one caveat to that is it means I'm a little less reactive when new mods come out. Um, but I don't think that's a, a major issue. Um... Yeah, I'd, I'd like to hear what you guys think about that, because I'd, I'd be interested to know. Um, and I, th I think it's a reasonable way of doing things, and it's going to take a bit of the pressure off myself. Um, and I think just hopefully allow for better videos. Okay, let's not use our active again yet, shall we? Um, ooh, Johnny's Knife's doing good stuff. Ooh, Petrified Poop as well there, lovely. A little bit of Petrified Poop never hurt anyone. Oh, Johnny's Knife is such a good item. Kind of wish we'd have kept that one there. Ooh. Card graveyard, though. 50% chance on taking damage to use a card. I'm going to keep that. That's It's risky. Risky business, but I like it. Unfortunately, the do not press button isn't great here. Do not press buttons are kind of boring uh, quality 4 item anyways. I mean, it is good. It's very strong, but it is a little dull. Right. This guy's not too bad. Doing okay so far. I thought I'd be a bit more rusty than this, but uh, it's seeming like things are going reasonably well, which is quite lovely. So when we go down, we should lose Johnny's Knives and keep the Do Not Press button, if I have read this correctly. Okay, no. I see. We lose everything. So we can either use it multiple times per floor, or use it just the once and keep the item. I see. So, okay. In this, basically what I was just about to say is, we, we need to use it until we get something we really want to keep and then not use it again. I think Twisted Pair is one that we probably really want to keep, so let's uh, let's stick with this for now and not use it again this floor. But then on another floor, if we get a quality 4 item that's a bit meh and we're not that interested by it, then we can keep using it and get really, really, really strong for that one floor. Um, and then go back down to sort of default power at the end of the floor. It's kind of an interesting item for, for quality 4, to be honest. I mean, it's very, very strong, obviously. A quality 4 item giving more quality 4 items is just kind of absurd, really. Um, but it's a, it's a fun concept. I mean, it's, it's meant to be pretty busted, I think. I think it's meant to be one of those items that's pretty much run-winning. 
Um, I, I kind of like those. Like, you don't want to have a ton of them in the game, but enough of them to make things interesting. You just want some, some of those items where every now and again you get them and you go, Oh, damn! You're like, oh my god, that's amazing. I, I'll tell you what. I've got a bit of a sore throat at the minute, but I have so much energy for recording right now because I haven't done it in so long. It's like a whole new world. Um, I'm so invigorated. So I'm going to try and get a few videos done today. Uh, probably like two Isaac, two Nuclear Throne, maybe. Oh, God. Yeah, that was a bit, bit stupid. Oh, I used a judgment, though. One second. I've got something in my eye. It's really bothering me. I don't know what the hell it could be. I've been sat at my computer th this morning. I haven't really done anything. Oh, and we've used the tower as well. Thank you for that. We lost one soul heart, but that's not too bad. Ooh, an eternal heart as well, baby. An eternal heart as well. I'll If I get a little bit more cashola, I'll probably play you beggar, but I think with the amount that we've got right now, it isn't particularly useful to do so. Perfect we get a key here, because we've not been to our item room yet. That would be lovely, but oh. It's been a while since I've had a good little twisted pair run, so I'm happy to get these guys keeping on, keeping along with us. I like them. But yeah, as for the question of the day today, what have you guys been up to for the past past little bit? What's been on the docket for you? You met with family, met with friends, went to see a movie. What 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 have you guys been up to? It'd be interesting to know. I'm always intrigued to read about how people's day has been. Unfortunately, we have a lot of um a lot of key usage here that we can't take advantage of, which is a shame. I'd like to, but unfortunately. We do not have the prerequisite keys to do so. Which is kind of a shame, considering we've opened up secret rooms and stuff. You'd think we'd have got a key. Ah, oh, god damn it. Bad hit there. L luckily, we've got a decent amount of soul heart health. Oh, come on. This one more room's got to gotta pay out with a key, please. Otherwise, I'm going to have to play that dude and hope he pays out with a key or an item. Ah, oh, really? Just rude game. At least I can blow him up as well. Oh, okay. He gave me some HP. Fair. I kind of maybe would have rather blown him up, I guess. Um, Unfortunately, I think we're skipping our item room. I mean, we got Twisted Pair out of this floor. We can't be too sad about that, to be honest, can we? And we got these fellas, which shan't be too bad. Shan't be too bad. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting that, but... Extra card there uh, on hit is rather nice. I really like this trinket. We showed it off, actually, in the previous episode, which apparently you guys didn't really like, because that episode did terribly. Um, <laughs> surprisingly so. It did really, really bad. But, oh well. That's just it's what it is. Uh, chance to drop pickups after clearing a room. I don't really know if I want that, to be honest. That doesn't sound that good. I think I'm going to leave that, to be honest. It's, it's, it's all right, but... Yeah, so now if we go down to the next floor, let's see if we get to keep our Twisted Pair. I think if I've read it correctly, we should keep our Twisted Pair. Indeed, we do. So now we use it again, and we get... So obviously, we'll be keeping that. Um, and I got a Planetarium here as well. Um, the one thing I don't know is I just got um, the... Whole, what the hell is this thing called? Sacred Orb. Um... I don't actually know. Like, I've just got it, but I've got a planetarium. Did my planetarium generate the f like the item before I used the orb? I think it did. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get like a super high quality um, planetarium item, which is a bit of a shame. But this is a yet another floor where we'll be just using it the one time because it's a fantastic item for us. Why can't I hit this guy? There you go. Um, but as it is. And we got Mask of Infamy. I think I will take that. Thank you. A bit of a look there. A few extra pennies here and there. And see, uh, cursed room even. We got another battery charge there, but I don't think that's too uh, too important for us right now. Here's our planetarium. Hopefully, we get some goddamn keys this time, because um, that's really our biggest concern right now. Is just we never have any goddamn keys. So hopefully, the game will be a little more generous to us this time around, but. Saying that, I don't expect it to be. I, I want it to be. I do not expect it to be. Ooh, now that's actually pretty useful. Let's, uh, clear this. Fortunately, not great. We got a judgment, though. That's a pretty good judgment. Uh, I don't want to play him yet, but at the end of the floor, we could play him. You're going to blow up good, sir, aren't you? 
How did that not kill the other dude there? Kind of crazy. You're not too big of a problem. Please give us a key. Need some damage up as well. Oh, hello. Copper troll bomb. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to blow this up. Are you... This is... Unprecedented. Oh, hello. Can I double play those? I don't know if I can double play those or not. That's that's, that's, that's an interesting idea. Okay, lots of Healy fellas. Yeah, we definitely need some like fire rate increases and stuff here. Can these Healy guys heal each other? I don't know, but either way, they're dead now. Yeah, some fire rate and damage would go a long way here. Twisted Pair is obviously carrying us a little bit. Hey, there's a key. Okay, Planetarium. I don't know how it's going to generate with Sacred Orb, if it'll end up being a quality four item or not. Oh, well, quality three or quality four. I don't know. We'll see. Um, It was quality three. Okay. Um, pickups have a 20% chance to be upgraded to the better version. Chance to gain Holy Mantle when taking damage based on total number of pickups you have. Pretty good. Pretty good. Fairly defensive, but also utility as well. I like it, I like it. It also gives us plus one of everything, so we've got another key now. But now we've got double, the. we've got 20% chance to get double the keys, which is going to help us out in the future for our key problem if we keep having it. Oh yeah, I definitely do have a sore thrower at the minute, which is a little unfortunate. Like, right as I, uh, right as I run out of, uh, backlog videos, it's like, hey, you need, you literally have to record today. Well, here's your throat being scratchy. Not ideal. I mean, it's fine. I'm not, like, in immense pain or anything like that, but just... Just why? Why, body? Why you gotta be like this? You know you did this on purpose. Right. Speed upgrade is really nice to combat the speed downs that we're getting. The secret room here. Um, won't be taking part in any of that, thank you. As much as I would, would like that rune. My key is precious to me right now. A lot of Healy guys on this floor. Did lose our devil chance there, unfortunately. We retaliated with a card, and it was a pretty good one as well. Freezing the entire room is never anything bad to see. But yeah, I had a good time while I was sort of away from YouTube. Um, I Like, ooh, beautiful stuff. Um, I do miss it. Oh, Crystal Shard. Beautiful. Crystal Shard is a very good item. Also, it makes sweet, sweet music. I love it. Lots of split shots going on. The potential is there. Okay, um, I'm going to do this other room as well. I just want to check for as many red hearts as I can because I might play my, um, what's it called? Demon Beggar if I can. Mainly because each time I hit myself on the Demon Beggar, I, I use a card. So I can actually get some really, really good stuff out of playing him if I get lucky. I could also get some bad stuff as well. There is no blacklist on this for modded cards. And some of the modded cards uh, tend to be a little, uh, a little saucy sometimes. But yeah, good item here. Obviously, quality four, so definitely was affected by, um, the, by what's it called. Okay, so we do have another heart in here. Good, good. And I'm just feeling a bit more min-maxy, uh, since I've been away for a little bit. I don't feel as, as rushed. It's kind of nice to have, isn't it? A whole new perspective on Isaac. This is why I'm saying I want to, like, maybe do this more often. Because I feel like, obviously, I've been doing Isaac pretty much daily for years now. As one tends to do with anything that you play for a long, long time, you do get burnt out on it. And I I'll say for the most part, Isaac isn't that bad for burnout. Simply because there's so much to do. There's so many new things to see and stuff. Um, that it It's not as bad. We have a Holy Mantle here, so I'm playing hard. The world. What do we get here? Hermit? What the Hermit do again? Ooh. Never had... Not a bad idea, that. Right. Go back. We actually got a Holy Mantle out of that as well. You even noticed that. Um, yes, yeah, so I think having, like, sort of intermittent breaks of, of like a week or so is a really really good way to keep the game still feeling fresh and also it means as i said i'll be a little behind on the modding scenes when new mods come out but also it means i'll come back and there'll likely be a few new mods to showcase which is nice um i will definitely take Burke and murder although there's options it's not a bad idea right now i don't know which one of these i'd rather go for to be honest i think i'm gonna go with the options to be honest just because um, of Sacred Orb. Like, Sacred Orb could help us a ton there. 
Right, let's go play the um, the blood guy two more times. See if we can get him to pay out and see what other cards we end up rocking. Hey, there you go. Hey, see, this is why it was worthwhile. Look at that. Got a huge damage up and an eternal heart. Very, very good. Yeah, this this card graveyard trinket is uh, pretty goddamn good. Right, these are active again on the next floor. Yeah, that damage boost was very necessary. I'm definitely feeling the results of that now. Oh, bugger. <laughs> okay. Only, only took one Holy Mantle away. I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, I, I really put myself in a bad position there. That was very, very stupid. Right, I need some fire rate increase next. Cool. And there you go. This is why. We get Gummy Bear here. Which is, I believe, a decent fire rate increase. Good stuff. We keep our Sacred Orb. And then we pop our active again and see if we want to keep or keep pushing. I'm going to keep pushing with this one. I don't want to keep that item. Oh, that's a huge... That gummy bear was huge for us. Um, Yeah, this item makes all items into mysterious gifts, which is good for like getting secret room items, but is overall kind of annoying. In fact, it could be really good with Sacred Orb here, but I don't want to keep it. We got Wisdom here, which is going to take us into here. I don't know why I'm doing this, to be honest. Either way, we got Gilmora there. Keep pushing through. That gave us three black hearts, which is kind of nice. Yeah, it's not something I want to keep for an entire floor, so I might as well use it a bunch and keep removing my quality four items. Unless this is going to remove my Sacred Orb and stuff as well, then I will be sad, but I don't think that's the case. I actually don't want the uh, thingy room there, if I know what it's going to be. It's going to be the more options reverse version, I don't want that. Damn, these guys have a lot of health. And these guys are well annoying as well, just stay still my guy. There you go. God damn, those guys are uh, a tricky bunch. Oh, I'm loving having this crystal shard thing here. This is uh, very, very nice. I know you're going to telefrag me, good guy. Oh, damn. Um, I lost my options. Not really sure what that was from, but... Ah, these are both gifts, of course. Well, let me go to my secret room and use them, shall I? Oh, come on, crab. Don't be like this. Don't be like this, crab. Good, good, good. Upon room clear, 37% chance to add... Ooh. That's an interesting idea. Add or subtract stuff. Ooh, hello. Okay, so... I think we want to... Honestly, I think we want to just... Just do this to all of these. See what we get. Right. Boom. The poop. Why you gotta be so mean, game? Why you gotta be so mean? The poop? Really? Of all the things... Essential. Oh, that's good. That's a very, very nice fire rate increase. Good stuff. Okay. Keep on keeping on with our little chocolate bar here. Yeah, an interesting item for this floor, but not something we want to keep forever. We've got a bunch of keys now, so we can open up that double chest. Like the, the, the mega gold chest. I think I'd rather that than open that door there. So let's go, let's go and do that. Wait. Okay, that was in the secret room near the boss. We'll do... We'll go search elsewhere first. Taken care of. Ooh, yes, our damage is feeling pretty tasty right now. 
much better than it was previously. Ah, a pill. I don't want a pill. Oh my god. Red hearts as well that we don't really need. Thank you. Oh, god damn. He dived onto me. And here's that iron room. I'm probably just going to use it rather than going back to the secret room here. Because we've got low speed. Now it's going to take forever. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is why I don't want this item permanently. It has some upsides. But mysterious gifts can really screw you over. I got two poops in one floor. It's like a 10% chance to get a poop, by the way. Or, or less. I'm pretty sure it's less than that. I think it's 5% chance for poop and 5% chance for... um. For lump of coal. I got doubly screwed. That's that's just wholeheartedly unfortunate. Right. Oh, where we go. We've only got six keys now though. Wait, there's a there's a double key in this room that I missed somewhere? Whereabouts is that? Okay, I can grab that. Let me grab that first. Yeah, 0 0.36 look uh, movement speed. So this, this item definitely punishes you on the movement side of things. But obviously, to be expected for the power that you're getting out of this item, I don't think that's uh, really too crazy. <clears throat> right. Sorry if you can hear me clear on my throat and on occasion. I will try to avoid it. I know that some people find it an uncomfortable noise to listen to up close in your ears, especially if you're wearing headphones. So I will try my best to avoid it, but unfortunately... It comes with the territory of having a sore throat. Um, so I've just kind of got to... <laughs> I've kind of got to just let it be. It is what it is. Right, anyways, let's open this up, see if we get some items. We do, indeed. Right, don't screw us this time. That's not very good. That's very good. Nice. Okay. Cool. Good bit of damage and speed is very nice here. Oh my lord. I wasn't expecting that. I'll tell you. I wasn't expecting that. Wow. Honestly. We got the poop transformation out of it. So that's not too bad. But three poops in a single floor is pretty bad. Okay, so now let's see what we lose. Hopefully we don't lose everything. Wait, what? I'm confused. We lost... We lost Sacred Orb and... A, I don't know what else we lost. We kept some of them. We didn't keep all of them. So now I'm pretty confused about how this works. But we kept the mysterious gift thing, which I'm not very happy about. Yeah, I'm a bit confused about that, to be honest. Not how I thought it worked, but... I guess we'll just keep spamming it then, and we'll lose what we lose, and we'll keep what we keep. I don't think we should worry about it too much. Seemingly, we're going to lose things at random when we use it. Why not just keep spamming? Yeah, it's all a bit confusing, really, isn't it? Wow, between 1 and 12 coins, and I got 1. Yeah, this is killing pretty fast, though. We have something mega going on right now. Right, I think we're basically going to be speedrunning the rest of this because we don't have Sacred Orb anymore, so realistically, item rooms aren't that important anymore. Wow, this damage is uh, pretty obscene. Abyss. Central Spirit. Ain't no way I'm using Sack Alto and I've got Twisted Pear. I'm sorry, but it's not happening. Oh, I should have at least sucked it up there, shouldn't I? I've got Abyss now. Could have used it there. Oh, well. Right, to the next floor. Right, so what do we lose? What do we keep? Hey, we got another Planetarium, apparently. We kept Tech X. 
We kept that twisted pair still. Yeah, this is just confusing. I think we lost our uh, gift item though, which is good. But yeah, I don't, I don't totally understand this. It's a bit cattywampus. And we get ourselves. Oh, wait, what? We got nothing there. What? I used my active, I didn't get anything. I'm not really sh Yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure what's happening. Through here. Check this out. Ah, oh, really? I've got to press all these buttons. Or I could just teleport out. Oh, we got an item out of it. Okay. I don't mind pressing the buttons now. Fistful of Ash. Eh. Not an amazing item. But actually, it's, it's, it's not bad. We got ourselves some toothpaste. Oh, God. Yeah, unfortunately, we've got this chainsaw thing going on, but I don't think the chainsaw does anything. This is the uh, alt version of Dr. Fetus, I'm pretty sure. What on earth? We've got something here that's creating some crazy, crazy damage combo. Also, um, our our fire rate has, uh, has decimated from the item we just got, so I hope we don't keep that. I mean, the damage it's putting out is still pretty tasty, but the fire rate is uh, more than abysmal. Yeah, that didn't kill you either, which is... Oh, dude, this is bad. Oh, wait. Oh, the chainsaw on my face deals damage. That is something I did not know. Oh my god, what is happening here? This is really rough, unfortunately. Tech X is basically dead. Oh, the lag as well. <laughs> Fire a single shot and it uh, kind of cramps itself a little bit. Ooh, Heaven's Call. I don't know what that is. Um... Every five tiers fired, fire a burst of four stationary tiers. If these tiers are in range of other tiers, they will orbit the tiers and gain homing and spectral. That's pretty interesting. I don't know if that'll work for us, but we can only hope. Oh, it seems to. That, that seems to have some homing there. Red King as well. It seems to be doing something. Oh my god. That's insane. Absolute insanity right now. Keep spamming my active. Keep that going. Holy. This is nuttily buttily. One-shotting everything. Sacred Heart, okay. Oh, that lowered my fire rate even more. That's, uh, that's scary. But, Sacred Heart seems like a pretty good grab right now. So we don't have Sacred Orb. That's a, that's a pretty good red item. Ooh, a Kapala. Unfortunately, we did keep this item, so we are still on the super, super low fire rate. Oh, wait, no. Our fire rate has gone up a little bit. I don't know what we lost to do that, but we didn't lose the item that was lowering our fire rate, so I'm a little, little confused. At the minute, I ain't gonna complain. We're speeding through the levels. An alarming rate. Right, try and get rid of our tin, uh, broken heart here. Yes, we did. Lovely. Sack room. I don't really want to tango with that right now. It's just like a one-shot kill the whole room sort of thing. Oh, damn. That is some stats right there. That is some stats. And our speed isn't too affected either. Lovely. We have some decent base speed here, which is helping us out a good amount. Oh, my God. Look at that. That is wild. Absolutely wild. 
Can we one-shot Mother's Heart with this? I bet we can, right? If only we could get there. Yeah, the fire rate is so much more palatable now. Not taking us 10 years fire once. Just like every fourth shot just nukes the room. I really like the fact that the crystal shard works, by the way, with... Oh my god, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> oh my god, what the hell, what have I done? <laughs> what is this? Okay, it didn't persist through room. That was weird. What on earth is happening? That's some wild stuff right there. Right. So when I hit enemies, I start throwing out dice? Apparently not. I don't know. I'm confused. Bucket of blood. To the next floor. Okay. This has been a wild ride, I've got to tell you. This has been a really, really wild ride. Oh god, we have a crazy spread now. Oh my god, we're firing so many tears. Wow. The eyelashes that we just picked up are uh, very, very good for our current setup. Right, down here we go. Milk teeth is um, a particularly spicy one. I guess I'll grab it. The tears down is uh, not ideal. I'll, I'll definitely concede to that, but... Oh, no. It was a bad idea. It was a real... Oh, wait, my twisted pear. No, they took my twisted pear. Oh, my king life. Okay, so milk teeth. Let's remove that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so basically what was happening there is um, some infinite recursion, I believe. Basically, um, in the... When we fire, they were being um, split into the milk teeth, and the milk teeth were splitting into more crystals, and the crystals were splitting into more milk teeth. It was a whole thing. Something that we cannot have, because it will just go on forever. I think we kept Kapala. Yeah, we did. Kapala, by the way, plus the little uh, inject in needle thing. Kapala is, is shared damage. Um, that's more fire right down. Kapala is shared damage, and the, the little pin thing, the red pin, is um, enemies have 50% less HP. So those two together are a, a mighty combo. We got IBS there. Why did I throw a poop just then? I don't even know, but yeah, see that? Why am I throwing poops? What's causing this? Is it something to do with the takeaway I just picked up? Now I have to wait so long before I can fire. Why? Stop throwing poops! There you go, I did one-shot, Mum. I thought I would. Up we go, baby, up we go. Cathedral. Oh. Ah, we lost Tech X finally, okay. So this makes things a little easier for us now. I've got Pop Pop in there somewhere. I've got a bunch of items that I don't know about here. There's, there's, a, there's a lot going on. These, these are little sort of wisp things rotating around me, I believe, are various items. I think I've got IBS and Pop Pop in there at the minute. Thank you for that. It's all going reasonably well so far. I'll take some Mongo cells, why not? Gain some various abilities, like Continuum. And that's from uh, our little hushy. <clears throat> yeah, you're not you're not long for this world, good fella. 
it's very nice having um having continuum with the setup. That's nice Leo as well, thank you. My god, there's so many items around us. I think this thing is all these little wisps is whenever we pick up an item or gain an item, it gives us another one, but it's a random wisp. Which is of this course meaning we're getting a bunch of new random items. Oh, we got Johnny's knives back as well. Yeah, Continuum's very good. Especially the amount of range we have. We have enough where it's basically hitting the whole room. Whoa! What's happening? <laughs> Recursion is going on again. You never know when it's going to strike, but when it does, oh hell. All hell breaks loose. Gets to the boss. The speed is getting uh, pretty low here. Maybe I should stop using my active a little bit. I really ought to not be going below like <laughs> 0 0.7 sort of seven speed, otherwise it gets a bit terrible. What a wacky setup. Who'd have thought that having a ton of quality 4 items would be so powerful? No one knew. Oh, the small rock there as well. Thank you. Oh my god, my speed though. I forgot that small rocks are speed down as well. Don't think we're going to one-shot this guy, but we'll do a pretty good amount of damage here. Oh, no, we did one-shot him. Cool. Down we go, baby. Last floor, this has been a goddamn fun run. I mean, this was this was the right way to get back into Isaac, I've gotta say. Stranger Tractor. Stranger Tractor's gonna be something else. Oh wait, we've only got one tier now, what? I lost my eyelashes, I think. This is probably better for us, to be fair. More reasonable fire rate. Hey, magic mush. Oh my god, my damage. Why is my damage so insanely high? It's still mostly one shot kills the entire room. Cool. Taken care of. Boom, bow, taken care of. I know there's other items in these chests here, but I honestly don't think they're going to make that big of a difference. Okay, we have technology now. That's kind of fun. That's kind of funky. Fortunately, we've gone the wrong way first time around. To be expected, though. And again. We've gone all the wrong ways so far. Yay. Hey, we got our eyelashes back. Although we didn't lose any fire rate, so maybe we have rock bottom somewhere in here? Nah, clearly not. You want my golden chocolate bar? How dare you? How dare you ask for such things? Aw. Oh. Let's mix in Ipecac. Why the hell not? We also got Libra, uh, apparently, for picking up that. So that fixes our fire rate problems, at least. But it's, it's pretty good with, uh, with Ipecac, to be honest. I'm surprised I'm not hitting myself more, but I'm getting away with it. Not gonna complain. Oh my god. What a run. What a beautiful, beautiful run. Imagine getting this item in a regular run, you'd be ecstatic. Do I have maybe I have explosion immunity? Because that definitely should have hurt me, right? Boss armor doing its thing. Okay, I lost a lot of my fire right there. Don't teleport me out. If I get hit and my cards, I get a card that teleports me out, I'm going to be a bit mad. But I'm also not going to drop the trinket because the coward's way out. What is this star that's like bouncing around at a billion miles an hour? <laughs> I don't know how to keep track of that. Skibbity <laughs> What the fuck? Right, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. A wacky run indeed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.